Staffordshire Bull Terrier dogs are bold and faithful companions and in today's video it's all about Staffy puppies and everything you need to know. We'll show you how to select happy, healthy Staffordshire Bull Terrier puppies and raise and care for them to become pleasant and happy adult dogs. So let's get into it. Staffy Puppy 101. Everything you need to know. What are Staffy puppies like? Staffy puppies and adults for that matter love nothing more than a good cuddle with their human family. This is after they've been worn out because their energy levels are through the roof. So if you love to get outdoors and live an active lifestyle, a Staffy puppy could be perfect for you. The key to owning a Staffy puppy is to start training and socializing as early as possible. Staffies are intelligent dogs that will learn rapidly but it requires consistency and a focus on positive reinforcement. Training your Staffy's recall early on is recommended due to their high levels of energy and excitability. Your Staffy will develop into a confident dog who enjoys going for walks and meeting new people and other dogs if you begin socializing them from an early age. Establishing strict and fair boundaries is also the way to go with a Staffy, and it can be a good idea to enroll your Staffy into some puppy training sessions. Staffy Puppy Colors. The Staffy is no exception to the rule that dogs can be of any colour or pattern you can imagine. Given that dogs of the same breed might have drastically varying coat colours, this is a fascinating phenomenon. The Staffy puppy can have a wide range of coat colours, as the colours on the screen demonstrate. The blue Staffy is the most popular colour for this breed these days. This, of course, doesn't guarantee that your puppy will be a brilliant shade of blue. It's more of a silver or dark grey. A blue coat indicates that your blue Staffy has a recessive gene for the blue coat colour. Both of its parents likely have the gene for a diluted black coat. However, it doesn't mean either of the parents has a blue coat. The second most popular coat colour for Staffies is Brindle. It is worth noting, however, that Brindle is frequently used to describe the pattern of the Staffies coat colour. This type of coat will be striped. Do Staffy puppies change colour? When Staffy puppies are born, it takes until their third week before the coat's proper colour comes out. It's unusual if a puppy's coat changes colour after this. Their coats might grow lighter or darker as they get older. You might see dark tips with red puppies, but these will typically disappear as the dog ages. Next, let's go over what to look for when buying a Staffordshire Bull Terrier puppy. First, research the breeder. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is an overbred breed because so much of the breeding is unplanned, unregulated and unrecorded. You might find ads for puppies for sale on the internet or in your local area but you should be very careful about backstreet breeders or puppy farms that pretend to be good owners. You might meet the puppies in a pleasant environment at the breeder's home, not realizing they have their puppy mill elsewhere. Plus, the paperwork might not be authentic. If the parents aren't registered, the puppies won't be either. Illegal papers mean you won't be able to show your dog or have registered puppies. Crucially, your puppy may have or develop several genetic conditions that affect staffies without knowing the family history. Your best option is to buy your puppy only from breeders registered with the UK Kennel Club. That way, you can find out more information. Next, research the parents. Breeding dogs according to Kennel Club standards necessitates following specific measures to assure the puppy's health. Only parents who do not have these diseases should have offspring. Providing you get your puppy from a legitimate breeder, you can rest assured that it will have a healthy and long life. In this way, despite a higher initial investment, a dog with certified breeding typically results in lower long-term costs due to fewer trips to the veterinarian. Finally, meet the puppies. You should meet the puppies at least a couple of times before you bring your puppy home, and a good breeder will welcome this. The breeders want to meet you as much as you want to meet the puppies. For the sake of the puppy, a breeder wants to ensure you're going to be good parents. If you're learning something new from this video, please give the like button a tap. How much is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier puppy? Pets for Homes is a classified ads website in the UK. They say the average price of a registered Staffy is £965 and unregistered £468. Of course, if you buy from a renowned breeder that breeds champion lines, you'll pay much more money than might even be a waiting list. Where to buy a Staffordshire Bull Terrier puppy? To buy a Staffy puppy, I suggest you visit the UK Kennel Club website and click on the link find a puppy slash rescue. There you'll find a list of the Kennel Club assured breeders. The breeders cover a large area of the UK and wherever you live, no more than a two hour drive to visit the breeder and the puppies. Up next, let's look at how to look after a Staffy pup. Bringing your Staffy puppy home. When first bringing your Staffy puppy home, it is important to do the following. 
Let them meet other animals, such as healthy, vaccinated dogs and cats. This is a great way to break the ice and build trust. Take them on walks about the neighborhood in your arms. This is a great way to familiarize your puppy with the sights, smells, and sounds of the outside world. Gradually expose them to new situations, such as riding in a car, getting a bath, being held, and having their ears, eyes, and other body parts examined. Additionally, you should gradually increase the time they spend alone to avoid separation anxiety. Put a regular schedule and regulations in place, rewarding good behavior and disregarding bad. Maintain the same pattern with tiny, frequent servings of the same puppy food. And maintain toilet training progress by rewarding the puppy after each successful time they do their business outside. Staffy Puppy Food How much should I feed my Staffordshire Bull Terrier puppy? Staffy puppies, like all other puppies, need to be fed at least three times a day. The correct amount of food, distributed fairly throughout feedings, is also essential. The simplest solution is to set up a feeding schedule that includes specific times of day for breakfast, lunch and dinner. You should set up your feeding schedule something like this. The first meal at roughly 7am, the midday meal at around noon and the evening meal at around 5pm. It's best to have the last meal around 5 o'clock every evening so they have time to digest the food and go to the bathroom before bedtime. This also helps with toilet training routines. When your Staffy puppy is about 14 and 18 weeks old, you can switch to feeding it twice daily. What is the best food to feed a Staffordshire Bull Terrier puppy? Most pet owners give their Staffy puppies dry kibble or canned wet food. While humans might not find these processed foods appetizing, they provide the essential nutrients puppies require for good health. The very best dog food is the one that provides all the nutrients your Staffy requires. To learn more about Staffies, please consider subscribing to this channel and thank you for watching. If you've got a beloved Staffy, make sure you download our four step training guide on how to safely walk them without a lead. This can make walks so much more enjoyable for both you and your Staffy and enable you to develop an even greater and more trusting bond. Download your free guide by following the link in the description below.